I, this story doesn't say the, say the name of the man in the story, but the story goes like this, that there was a, a Jewish fellow, I guess uh, came from, from Europe, maybe from the Holocaust, and he opened up a grocery store in Brooklyn, in the Bronx, wherever. I don't remember the Brooklyn store. So there were huge big areas that were very Jewish. And little by little, the Jewish people, a lot of them, they, they left and they went to the suburbs and the blacks moved in. So this big fellow, he comes from uh, the old, you know, from Europe. There's no blacks in Europe. They don't know what they're, they're, they doesn't know what to do. So he sees the blacks, he sees the music, sees what's going on. And the young people, they're all, you know, they don't act exactly like everybody else, you know, they're dancing and this and that. <clears throat> So he, 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 he starts losing interest in the story. He's also getting older. By this time of the story, he's about 60 years old. <clears throat> and there's other stores that are opening up also around him. And he starts to lose interest in, in the whole story. He doesn't understand the clientele. And of course, either they don't understand him either. So, so he doesn't know what to do. But he, on one hand, he, 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 he likes the store. And it, it's not in a bad location, but he's very afraid. He's very afraid, but he's too old to move to somewhere else and start something new. So finally, he said, someone said, go to the Lubavitch Rebbe, ask for advice. I mean, the Lubavitch Rebbe, he lives here for a long time, and he, he knows the blacks, he knows what the, the blacks are. It, 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 maybe he'll give you some sort of an advice, what to do, what to say. What to, maybe he'll give you a blessing to move. So he went into the Lubavitcher Rebbe, and the Rebbe, he said, the Lubavitcher Rebbe said, what's the problem? He said, well, I don't know if I should move, if I shouldn't move. He said, well, do you want to move? He said, I don't want to move, Rebbe. I don't want to move the store. I really like the store, but I'm really afraid. What are you afraid of? He says, there's all the blacks over there. I'm just afraid. The Rebbe says, you have nothing to be afraid of. He said, you, you, you treat everybody nice. Everybody will treat you nice. What's the problem? You have no problems whatsoever. He said, nothing whatsoever. The Rebbe said, don't be afraid of anything. Don't be afraid of anything. Be afraid only of God and be pleasant to everybody. And don't be afraid. You have nothing whatsoever to fear. He said, okay. So he goes back. And sure enough, people come in. He's friendly with them. They joke around with him. He jokes around with them. He asks how the family, they ask how his family is. People like everybody else come in and they He's got a nice clientele, and the people are coming in, and this. <clears throat> this one day, there comes in to the store, just as he's about to close the store. So he has his money. He's got the money from the whole day. And just as he's going to the door to, to lock the door, he's going to lock the door to close the store. And then he's going to make an inventory and clean up whatever. Just as he's about to close the door, all of a sudden, two fellows push in. They push in and they lock the door behind them. And one of them takes a gun and points it to his head and says, give me all your money. He says, suddenly he remembered what the Lubavitcher Rebbe said. He said, drop dead. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. He said, you give me that money. Give me the money. I'm going to shoot. And he shot into the air. A fellow shot in the air. He said, you think you scare me with that thing? They does scare me. I come, there was the Holocaust. I wasn't afraid then. I got out. And they said, you better let, you better give me your money. So I'm not giving you anything. I'm not giving you anything. Drop that. Lubavitcher Rebbe told, who's Lubavitch? I want to talk about, give me the money. All of a sudden, people start gathering outside. They hear sirens coming. One of them yells out, hey, we better get out of here. The police are coming here. He fired another shot into the air. They opened up the, they fumbled with the door. They opened up the door and the police caught him. The next day, this guy's picture was in the paper, right? His picture was in the paper, big smile, <laughs> with a huge sold with so it's a, a policeman standing next to him, a little, you know, a little Polish guy. And he said, What does it say? Lubavitch Rebbe saves the day, or something like that. And he said underneath, the Rebbe told me not to be afraid of anything. So I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid. So it ended up that because he was not afraid. All of a sudden, everything turned around, turned around. Okay, listen, generally speaking, if a thief comes into your, into your store, you're supposed to give him the money. Don't, you know, don't mess around. You're supposed to give him the money. 
even though my father used to have a groceries of a, a, a uh, my father was a, a blessed member. My father was a pharmacist, and they, they, he was robbed a couple of times, and he was shot a couple of times. Right? They would take the money and they would shoot him also. So luckily, nothing happened each time. But <clears throat> but the, nevertheless, the Rebbe said, "Don't be afraid." So he wasn't afraid. He wasn't a bit. He took it in a general way. The Rebbe was saying, "Don't be afraid of the of the blacks, because there's nothing to be afraid of. They're, they're, they're people like everybody else, right? Maybe a different color than you are, but there's, they're the same thing." But it, it, he took it that the Rebbe said, "Don't be afraid of anything whatsoever, even when the guys come in, point a gun at his face, his head." So he wasn't afraid. So he took. We have to take all the also the, the positive words of the Rebbe and utilize them in every situation, just like we finished learning about now you want to make the whole world holy, it has to be holy in every single detail that there is, not one detail, not in thought, speech, and action, should be outside of the Creator and doing what the Creator wants. Have a good day with Mashiach now. Hope to see you all tomorrow morning, 8.15.